Welcome, all. In this video we will be communicating MP2300S controller with PC which has MPE720 software for communicating to the controller. Double click on the MPE720 software. This is the basic software which is open now presently. So here you can see different menus like file, edit, view, online, compile, monitor, debug, tools, windows, help. So in help you can see what are the different menus, help menus available in it. Okay. Now we go directly to the interface how to communicate with MPE software along with MPE 2300X. So just click on the communication settings. So my default IP address will be 192.168.1.100 which is my computer address and what is my target? Target is nothing but my controller IP address. So my controller IP address will be 192.168.1.1 this will be default. So now I am, I am going to search the controller with my computer to the controller. I will click on search. So now you can see this controller has been detected with the IP address 192.168.1.1. So here I got multiple options. One is connect, setting, cancel, delete, ping and import. So first option we will see how to connect, click on connect. So after a few seconds you can see this window getting activated. Now you can see online and the controller name mp2300s and you can see what is the ethernet ip address which is connected to it 192.168.1.1 and you can also see the cpu is in run mode what is run mode but the program is activated so there are three modes in this one is run mode one is stop mode and another is communication failure now we are presently in run mode how to go to stop mode click on this icon cpu stop click on this the application program will be stopped do you want to continue click on yes so now you can see the cpu is in stop mode and the color is in blue color if you want to activate once again to run mode click on this option called run the application program will be executed do you want to continue click on yes so now you can see the program is running so this is the way basic way to communicate with the controller and how to check the third mode third mode is your power failure when power is failed see now i am going to switch off the power So after 30 seconds of delay you will get a warning in red color. So we will check that. So now you can see that there is no communication in the controller and you can see the warning coming as fail to communicate with controller so that means there is no power or either the ethernet cable has been plugged out so you can check what is the communication error you can check in the check alarm list you can check here so it is saying communication timeout that means there is no communication and what are the causes for this the communication cable is not connected that is the first cause what is the second cause? The power controller power supply is off. Yes. And what is the third cause? When using Ethernet communication. So either these three may be faulty. 
so now I have switched off the controller power supply now I will turn on the power supply after turning the power supply for around 20 seconds the communication will be established so now you can see that the communication has been established and the warning is also disabled so this is how you communicate with your MP controller software with MP2300 series S. Yes. S is nothing but single slot. So now we will go to the module configuration of the controller. So click on the module configuration. And here you can see what are the different models available in built so these are all your main cpu in the cpu you can find 218i fpa this is nothing but your ethernet port and svb is your mechatlink 2 drive and svr is your virtual access 